dress with a, a, a beautiful touch. You know, we all dress. When you watch the Jesus movies, we all see Mary dressed like me, the way I'm dressed. <laughs> Mary, mother of Jesus, yes. And today, I have my Muslim younger sisters and daughters on the set. We are going to have a very beautiful conversation. You all know I celebrated my 25 years in media this year. And this edition on the 25th of December, we're wrapping it up with my Muslim sisters and daughters sharing their own experiences with me. But I'm even afraid of what they will say. <laughs> you know, I don't really trust these people, what they can say, you know. They will speak their mind <laughs> no matter how much I wink at them. But it's all to show love. As Christians, we talk about Jesus being born, representing the love, the gift, and all that. It's all to show love, to show unity, because we are all one people, one nation. Women, our issues are just one. It's all because we are women. Not because we are Muslims, or we are Christians, or we are Northness, or Southness, or whatever we call ourselves. So today is a sense of unity, of love. And you don't want to go anywhere. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the special Christmas edition of The Standpoint with my Muslim sisters and daughters. It's only on The Standpoint we do it this way. We'll be back. Hello, you're welcome to this special edition of The Standpoint. As you can see, things look a bit different. Give to your But you are saying, Baba, Woga. Woga, and the We are having a special edition on this special Christmas Day. We wish all our Christian family, friends, and loved ones a very, very Merry Christmas and a beautiful, beautiful, happy, and prosperous New Year. That said, I'm Rahmat Wasim. I'm going to be your host for today. My guests, they are already here with me. I'm going to allow them to introduce themselves. My name is Habiba Sanari. I'm an award-winning actress and movie producer. I'm a humanitarian and a serial entrepreneur. My name is Gifty Anti. She's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> That's my sister. Younger sister. And also, sometimes she's my daughter, sometimes she's my younger sister. Hi, I'm Hajj Zalia Kasim. Um, founder and creative director of Zaki and Claude. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My name is Rahima Bwama Bwachi. I work with UBA as head of personal banking. I am Adiza Balafaila, CEO of Shamfis J, and then the brain behind Ghana Motors Fashion Week. Hi, I'm Erasun Hadija, product developer of Maida Foods and an author of The Hustle is Real. I'm Isaac Sata, a teacher and entrepreneur, CEO of SARS Collection. Welcome back. A quick thank you to our sponsors for helping us to bring this to your homes every time that we come. House of Food, Casa Preco, Awake Purified Mineral Water, Puma Drinks, Go Gogurt Yogurt, Juice Time, Yet Cleaning Services, and Starting Floral and Decor. I mentioned that we are celebrating or in Yuri, as our, with our Muslim sisters on this special Christmas day, a season of love and giving. So we are here with my guest. Oh, Yes, ma'am. You're welcome to my set. Thank you very much for having me on your set. <laughs> 25 years in media and 14 years with a standpoint. Right. You're there with us. Mm -hmm. What made you start? What brought, what brought the whole angle of conversation on the Muslim woman? Okay, thank you very much. Um, I grew up with my father, and my father, I remember they used to call him Temakadi. He was everybody's uncle. He was everybody's um, father. And my father, I never saw my father discriminate. My father could speak Hausa. He was a police officer. He traveled the length and breadth of this country. He was stationed at Tamale before, at, um, in the Volta. He went everywhere. So we had uncles and aunties who were Muslims, some from the Volta region, and you couldn't tell the difference. Mm. You know, sometimes I suspected that some, you know, woman be from Tamale. The area was, you know, but you couldn't really see. They thought I was small. I seen things small, you know. That forgive me, okay? <laughs> you know, so we, 
we grew up like that. I went to school. We dealt with everybody. Um, Haja Hana too. Now, I mean, her, her grandmother in Tema. We all used to go there. She would give us food. And we all worked together. I mean, we left together. We played together. There was no division, no discrimination. You could go to anybody's house. Yeah. You know, growing up, that's how growing up was mm -hmm. for me. And then I came to work um, field and suddenly I realized this whole issue of discrimination, mm -hmm. you know, especially um, when it comes to women and disenfranchising, not just, you know, through voting and stuff like that. And when I went in deep, I realized that the challenge for Muslim women was even worse. I got to, I remember I went to a bank um, when I started the standpoint 14 years ago. We're going to open an, an account. Mm. And I saw this lady and she was dressed with her hijab and I was so excited. And then she started conversing. So I said, it's not been easy. Mm. It's not been easy. Even when I come, when people come here, the comments they make, the thing they say, I was like, ah, but you, and Muslim said, yes, it's been tough. Mm. And I'm always been sometimes the way they talk to me and and I, I found it quite strange. How how, because, how old has that been? How long? Oh, about fourteen years. I'm talking about when I was going to open an account for the standpoint <laughs> when we were starting. Listen. About fourteen years. So I realized that no, this has to change. When you say you are fighting for women, it shouldn't be only for a certain group of women. Mm. I came to understand that that the problems of women, it's only because we are women. I got to know of harassment when I traveled to Navrongo and other parts of the country to do um, features for the breakfast show then. Mm. Got to know about young Muslim women who were being raped. I got to know about Muslim women being harassed. I remember we did one program. I had one of my daughters. She, up to now, when I see her cancer, but she, she was covered from head to toe. You could only see the eyes. And she shared her experience of you know, verbal harassment, sexually comments and all that. And you realize that it's just because we are women. And therefore, we need to tackle it holistically. Mm. So I remember when the standpoint in three years, we decided to have a Muslim women's conference. Yes. We started with Al-Haji um, Asuma Bandes Mosque mm. with a brother um, Bagia. You know, thank you so much to him. Mm -hmm. And they accepted us. Of course, we couldn't enter the mosque. We were outside. But then the conversation yes. went on. Then we moved. For, we did, I think, twice. Then we moved to the studios. We did a few times here. Mm -hmm. And then gradually, by the grace of God, I got to meet the Ghana Muslim Mission, who offered to give us their space. Yes. And I say this every time. They've never charged at one city. For the five years that we've had, no, I think four years, okay. we've had four times that we've had the Muslim Women's Conference there. Not a single city have they charged me mm. for venue, for life, nothing. I pay nothing. And they even support by giving us sometimes, uh, you know, meat pie or adding drinks and all. That. And they're that. always excited to, to be part of it. Mm. That, that is the, my, my, my desire to let women understand that we don't need to fight among ourselves because the problem is just be us being women. That's all. Simple. Not because we are Christians or we are Muslims. Muslims. But you could hear, oh, we're the Muslims. Okay. Yes, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yes, you know, but not understanding that when you are stereotyping somebody from a different mm -hmm. religion or tribe, mm -hmm. you are stereotyping mm -hmm. yourself. Yeah. It's interesting you mentioned that yeah. through your journey, you've also... Um, discovered the real status of the Muslim woman. Yes. You can yes. see that whatever is in the Quran, in the, the Hadith and the Sunnah, it's you know, totally different I from what is happening, the reality. Yeah. Yeah. So just as you said, mm. it is not because we are Muslims. No. It's just because, because we're we women. Are women. And violence or an abuse is being limited on you okay. just because of your gender. gender. Yes. But the, 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 the religion or the Quran is being used as a decoy to deploy yeah. that yeah. Yes. Yeah. because there's a difference between asking someone to do something yeah. and coercing someone yes. or forcing someone right. to do exactly. to do something exactly. it's, it's totally it, it, different it happens in the christian community as well i've done programs titled mm. abuse from the pulpit right. exactly they use the bible to say this god hates the divorce and go and yeah. submit and yeah. all that 
they, they, there are places they leave that one. Mm -hmm. They don't talk about that. You know, so it's it's all because the, the, the one, one side is always spoken exactly. about the other side. Yes, is, so is if left you don't out. read for yourself, that is you're it. In trouble. And I think that is what the standpoint has done for us to open us up to reading for us ourselves. Indeed, it's there because knowledge they say from cradle to grave. Yeah, I just earlier mm -hmm. the standpoint. And I remember um, the chief imam said to me that. The Quran says you should seek knowledge as far as to China. China. Yes. And he says, he explained to me that those days, China was the farthest yes. place very on earth. It was very far. <laughs> and there was no aeroplanes, yeah. no, cars. Was, no cars. It was camel or you walk. walk. And it was very far. So it's symbolically to tell you that there's no limit. limit. To education. To education. Yeah. You, you, you will have to find a name for you by the end of the show. I just earlier too. 25 years of working in media and mm. 14 years of standpoint mm. in the Muslim Women Conference. What so, it means to you? Funny enough, whenever I say 25 years, I, I kind of have a flashback to black and white TV days and <laughs> just slowly coming into the multi, you know, the, the colored TV mm. and the only channel that is there is GTV. Mm. So who didn't grow up with on Henry? And I, it's this nostalgic feeling, you know, you like reading the news or you, you, there are days you see this person in, in, I don't, rem I wasn't connecting mm -hmm. till like, cause uh, I left the country early. So coming back and then there's standpoint and I have to now connect the people I used to see <laughs> on TV. So when the standpoint came out and then, um, we, with the Jabis and identity, mm -hmm. we were at parliament and we needed to have, you know, platforms mm -hmm. to campaign, to talk about this uh, uh, problem we are facing in the community. And um, Mr. Bagia was there that day and he's like, uh, we came out, he was just like, you should be on standpoint. And here I was thinking, hey. Campaign. Hmm. This when? big woman, you, you want that? Who are we? Like, how are we going to get there? Then he's like, hold on. That, this is what I was like talking to myself. I was like, you are joking. So he comes back. He's like, here, the phone. She said, uh, we can come Saturday. I was like, nah. <laughs> he's just that saying, you know, let me see what I can do kind of uh, uh, saying. Maybe. But truly, Saturday we were here. Mm. And we were welcomed so well that I was like, okay, that's the person I used to see on TV. And okay, this is how she is. Mm -hmm. Contrary to that, you know, there are things that you've heard, read, and everything. She's a feminist, she's dragging women and destroying them, misleading them. Titles in the So, my, like, uh, I'm someone, uh, I have my own mind. I mm -hmm. don't care what you say. If, I don't agree with you. I don't agree with you. I don't, you don't have any um, power over me when it comes to my opinion. When I, once I form it, that's it. Nothing can change it unless I was wrong. Mm -hmm. Then I will admit. So that's when I was like, wow, we, we're given this platform, campaigned about hijabis and identity. And we were here talking about Muslim women, mm -hmm. not sugarcoating it. Bashira was here, went all out. Yes. I mean, we all know Bashira. <laughs> Shout out to... Bashira, if you don't know her, <laughs> you will know she, her. Vowel. She's, She's vowel. Vowel. <laughs> You know. So for me, it's uh, since then, we've always had um, this link to her. And just now she mentioned something that was, was happening. And then I was asking, oh, you, you see everything, huh? So she actually follows the trends. the trends and see, you know, who is okay, what's... And that's something that I... I really appreciate and I'm grateful as a Muslim woman. Mm. Yeah. Well, we'll be having an interesting conversation and I'm sure everybody is glued. We want to hear more, want to listen to it more and I have understanding. Now we know what drove Ohineyri. Uh, someone was even wishing that she's a Muslim. I think she's already a Muslim at heart and she's our big sister. And we really love you. Before we go for a commercial break, let's acknowledge our sponsors once again, House of Food, Casa Preco Awake, Purify Mineral Water, Puma Drinks, Gogot Yogurt, Juice Time, Yep Cleaning Services, and Standing Flora and Deco. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to this special edition of The Standpoint. Yes, we're turning things upside down in the Asimha Bifi. We've been having a conversation among ourselves, the Muslim women. Uh, sister, big sister, has been in the media for 25 years and 14 years with The Standpoint. She has changed the narrative, given us power, yes, information and a platform to voice what we feel, what interests us, what bothers us as women. Not looking at the colors, not looking at the tribe, religion, or creed. We're here talking about our journeys with her. Habiba. Hi. 25 <laughs> years. What it means so, to you? First of all, I'm so excited that we have like three generations sitting here talking about one person. Mm. And I think I'm the younger generation. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm not too old, like too older than the brand. And mm. so I literally grew with anti Gifty's brand and I would say she's one of the people that make me feel so happy when African prints. That's one of, you know, our generation, we're more of entertainers and mm. our dressing and all of those things. And my mom always says, I don't think we will ever have anybody like Gifty Auntie again. Or, because, you know, it's not all about just um, coming on TV and just talking. You embrace the person as an African woman, mm. can you to emphasize? And the fact that she was never discriminative. And so many things that we Muslim women couldn't do for ourselves, mm. Auntie Gifty did it. Mm. We didn't have the, that voice. voice. Yeah. It's, not la it's not now that we have our social media children, which I'm inclusive. <laughs> uh, it's not now that we have them that come out and you know, are outspoken and say whatever they want to say, mm. and they don't really care mm. about whoever or however they receive it. And to give this student for the voiceless. And trust me, as she said earlier, Muslim women are really going through a lot, especially the fact that Ghana isn't uh, Muslim dominated. It's, um, I think it's like 30, 70%, 70% of the others, and then 30% of Muslim women. It's not easy for us. And so once we get those people that can stand up for us, mm. not just the Muslim women, but also women in general. In general. Look, Beth, all these things, after all these things we have to go through, we have to also come and have social it's issues. It's too much for us. So we just needed that voice, yes. that person that had that, um, or has that. Like uh, a go-to person. Thank Someone you. Someone can just go and vent. Thank who you. understand, who will not judge thank you. Thank you. And you know, funny enough, Auntie Gifty actually talks to people she doesn't even know, listens to them. Mm. And she doesn't know that we are seeing it. Yeah. But that's just her. She, God just brought us in the world to help people. And that's just her, maybe through her media, you know, whatever she's doing. And I'll use this opportunity to say, my generation, there's something you have to look at because we are going off. So please look at her to give to you. You are disgracing us too much. Yes, I, I, I'm so happy that secretly she has been one of the people that I'm looking up to. I'm very, I'm very particular about what I also put out there, even though sometimes I'm Muslim people want to give it to me. Goes, bass, bass, goes. <laughs> I, know, I, I still I, do. I, I still don't <laughs> get into it. I'm, 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 and I say this, I still say, Mommy, you're actually right. I've not seen anybody that has fit in in Auntie Gifty's shoes. Mm. The beauty, the brains, the, 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 the leader, passion. that heart. The humility. It's not there. Mm. It's not there. I think that's something. Yes, ma'am. When you, you came, you sat in there yes. and I came out to saw you. Yes. Were you surprised the way I reacted, the way I just approached you you know i didn't expect auntie i know she would just say hello because you yeah, know that's the first yeah i knew she'd say hello but she'll walk up to you hello yeah. continue conversing Hi, How do, you, are you, do you want me to give you something to drink are you sure mm -hmm. imagine if i went to meet this my my new people mm -hmm. Oh, you're always looking pretty. Which room in this generation, this is my generation, look at me as I'm looking at you. You people, do you even like encouraging your fellow women? No. No, no woman will look at you and say, oh, you're looking so nice. I like you. Do you think I know her? That is it. <laughs> And two, she was surprised that I came and I went straight to her. I could tell from her face. I was, she was surprised. surprised. She was looking like, oh, okay. She was starstruck. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I said that. Hey, you were a celebrity. Like, oh, okay. Ah, uh, mommy, we saw. And every time we meet our programs, trust me, she takes pictures with me yes. all the time. <laughs> oh, let's take. Yes. Are you having your award? Okay, let's take. And so I was like, okay, maybe 
she's just taking with everybody because I know she doesn't discriminate. Mm -hmm. But okay, now it's face one on one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But my generation, I'm saying this, they think I'm joking. Nobody will look at you and tell you you're looking nice. That mm. is how yeah. how bad that, it has that, gotten. That, that touch of a human. So feeling. just imagine in every industry, everywhere we have just one or two gifted yeah. people. Yeah. Well, the world will be a better place. Yeah. <laughs> Rahima. about just women. I had not heard of allies then, but I think that is where it started from mm -hmm. for me. And I saw that in my fa in our father, mm. okay? And she is, we are six girls, six women, mm -hmm. and two boys. And he always pushed us, especially as the women, that, you know, get your education, get your thinking right, put your things together. And then when you watch somebody like uh, Sister Gifty on TV, and practically you, you are around, let's say, 10, 11 years, and you're actually looking at what your future could be. Yeah. Okay, so it made it easy. Without she knowing it, she had actually put a footprint, a blueprint out there sure that enough. people were in their homes, child, girl, children, uh, or girl child, or girl children were in their homes, and they were following it. That's and it made, exactly, it made it easy. You knew how you should talk. You knew how you should walk. You knew how to keep yourself. Those days, there wasn't any social media, but she she was always going viral mm. or for one mm. reason or the other. And I learned how to be bold from her. I'm still trying to get one thing out of her, learning from her, and that is courage. Mm. It is not easy to even say it as it is for a lot of people and i'm one of them i could be very i can come across i know i could come across as very um forward but there are certain things that i always have to weigh over and over and over again mm -hmm. before i put it out there mm -hmm. um, but i do know one thing when i open my mouth and i say it i own it this bus. yes i will own it <laughs> and whether it was said before you, behind you, by your side, when you hear it and you come to me, I'll say, yes, I said it and I own it. So thank you for being who you are. Please, if you have any outer of doubt in you, erode it. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I am thinking that whatever energy, positive energy that is coming from us, should be able to quench that doubt in you. You are, you, you're doing a good thing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, by the way, boys didn't switch. They are two twins. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. As your Adiza. Thoughts. As for me, I started watching uh, Auntie. Actually, my mom really loves you so much. She's a news person. So just uh, GTV news. Yeah, that's where it started. And then the standpoint, I used to even close from school early so that I could watch <laughs> you talk. And I'm like, Mom, I like her. She says, I like her. I want to be like her. So that was why I actually started to, you know, learn public speaking. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, so sometimes I just try to mimic, you know, <laughs> you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I really love everything you do. And may Allah bless you. Amen. And I think the first time I met you was the the conference yeah, which was organized here yeah i attended that, was, that time i was in legon mm -hmm. i attended that was my first time to meet you one-on-one -on -one. Mm -hmm. and i think we met at a program recently that was when i met you again i mean receiving an award from you yeah and the way you even called me after the program 
you know, I'm like, wow, so it's not really called me. Me at this time. <laughs> <laughs> me at this time. I was so excited and I was really like ready to, you know. And then we came here um, the last time with my sisters and the way you received us, it was so, I don't know how to even say it. Like, you are so humble. Yeah. I, I'm so happy and I, I always pray for you, like, may Allah bless you Amen. and lift you, like, more than you are now, like, higher, 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 inshallah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, for me, um, if I want to start, I maybe end up crying. Mm -hmm. I remember um, growing up back in Wa, mm -hmm. I watch it on TV. It's like, I'll watch her with my mom. So my mom knows that this lady is like Erasmus' mother. <laughs> Whenever you come like on set, I'm so happy. I'm so like, I'm virtually inspired. Mm. And I'll keep telling my mom that, oh, I, I, I hope to meet her one day. She's like, oh, okay, mm. yes, I, I, I hope so too. So when I had admission to come to UPS, mm. that was my first time in Accra and all that. So, um, so I was in, in, on campus. I don't even know how they got to know that I could come to her with a letter and she will accept. <laughs> the woman commissioner called me and said, we want to host um, Give to Auntie on our SRC Week Celebration Women Empowerment Summit. I said, okay, can you get her to come? I said, hey, what did you see? <laughs> I took the letter, came all the way here and submitted the letter. She took the letter and was like, oh, I'll attend, I'll come. Tell them I'll come. I was like, hey, you made me a star. <laughs> <laughs> I got to campus, everybody was so happy. Everybody was like, it was so broad, give Santi to school. Like, <laughs> you can imagine the pride I was working with. And that's her coming. Mm. I don't know about the others, but that changed my story. Mm. That changed everything about Erasmus. Because she was like, identify your passion, live by it, be honest, be truthful, and just keep faith that whatever you want to achieve, you will have it. And that has been my path. Mm. Probably if she hadn't come, I will not be irrational. I will not be all the things that you read on social media that I am doing. Mm. Women empowerment, I get women, Muslim women entrepreneurs, that is my NGO. Mm. I won't be doing that because like, she gave me a roadmap. Mm. She the gave me something to look at. Mm. Mm. She gave me how to do it. So I was living my life with her message. Oh, do this, do this. From afar, I listen to her, I'm like, I just love how she is. Mm. Because if you believe that you have an icon that inspires you this much, you should be able to live life with ease. Mm. She gave us an, an example. Mm. She gave us what success actually looked like. Mm. She will tell you how life is, the challenges, how to overcome them. Because she gives you her example. She lives them and she's sharing them with you. Very practical. She was very practical. Mm. So on that day, I identified everything I wanted to become just with the message she gave us on campus. And from then, I think almost everybody on UPS campus like respects Erasmus. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> really? Because if you, oh yes, I, 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 was just, I was just a star. Because if you can bring Giftanti to campus to speak to us, mm. then you can do so much. <laughs> and, and yes, I don't want to disappoint her. And I hope I'm actually living and doing Aww, so I'm much. I'm so proud of you. You have no idea. <laughs> yes. So I, I, sometimes when I'm taking a decision, I, I ask myself, like, how will she do it? Or how will, if I disappoint her, like, I don't know how to describe it. How will, what, what will she do if yes, she was to take that decision? decision. Mm. Yeah. That's what I ask myself. And for me, I always say, if nobody sees what you have done, but for me, mm. you are my icon. <laughs> You are my roadmap. You inspire me, and I hope to keep making you proud. Aww. As a daughter. Inshallah. For me, I have a lot to say. <laughs> a lot. Today has been a big opportunity for me. For my first time back at North Wa, almost 15 years now. There was a day that she came to work school for the blind. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because you have been seeing her on telly. They say, ah, give the aunties at work school for the blind. We couldn't even wear slippers. We were running. <laughs> <laughs> Just to come and see her. 
Oh, only for us to get there, we are not given the opportunity. Oh. Then we left. Then, day in, day out, any time, I have to even go and do some work just to get a smartphone. <laughs> because sometimes, by the time I come back, the program are finished. You oh. can't record it. Mm. But online, yes. you can watch it watch and then a lot of things. Mm. And there was a time that I was having a problem. Then one of his short video bridged the gap. Mm. Someone sent it to me on WhatsApp. Then I couldn't download it. I quickly call a friend that she should download it and send it to me again. I have to buy a bundle and then I downloaded it. After I watch it, everything changes. Mm. It tells me that whatever you want, go for it. Mm. Never listen to the negative side of it. Mm. Whatever you do, there will be negative so aspects of it. Say yes. just for <laughs> <laughs> so today, I would say I'm oh. really grateful <laughs> that I had this opportunity. Just yeah. to meet her one on one. Mm -hmm. She didn't know that come was a secret. Come for a big hug. Come for a big hug. Come for a big hug. So actually, today I'm really it's very like You add a hand to the story. Ah. <laughs> it has not been enough. Because of that. Because at some point, because my mother was the type that likes to. Mm. But those days they say women don't school, so from oh, for yeah. she stopped. Mm. But any time it's time for give fancy news, that one don't try her. Mm. And she doesn't understand the English. No. <laughs> <laughs> so when I just I told my mother that I want to be like her. Mm. But they say, hey, they will not allow you to go. For Muslim children, they will not allow you to do that. So I said, okay. Mm. So sometimes look at, look at, you look wish at that, to that, do look something. Look at that misconception. Yes, you wish it, to it, do education something. Education is, is, is well, From their background, they are dragging you back. Mm. Yeah. But you have the passion to do it. Yeah. And nobody is giving you the advice, the support, the push to push up. Mm. Whatever I'm to do, sometimes I have to go back to her page, read some of the stories, her right type, and I'll go back to reading before I take a decision. Mm. Mm. So she has really made a lot of impacts in our mm. community. She has changed a lot of narrative. Who she mm. herself doesn't know that this is happening. Yes. Mm. But it does. does you can enter someone's room, her picture is that she doesn't even know the person. <laughs> <laughs> That is it. And we Amen. say thank you. May Allah bless you. Amen. And may you continue to live long so that Amen. we keep celebrating you. Amen. Thank Amen. you very thank much. You. Wow. Wow. Goosebumps. Mm. My head is even aching. This is what we call the testimony, say. Eh? Mm. This, this, this is refreshing. This is um, heartwarming, very revealing. And uh, Mohine, I always tell you. You're a generational, you impact generation, you, 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 you cut across. Thank you. That's a national asset. Some people are national, but you are a national <laughs> asset. And um, you're just amazing. We, are, we haven't finished though, but we would like to go for a commercial break. Before we go, let's acknowledge our sponsors, House of Food, Casa Preco Awake, Purified Mineral Water, Puma Drinks, Gogurt Yogurt, Juice Time, Yep Cleaning Services and Standing Floral and Deco. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Welcome back to this special edition of The Standpoint. Yes, you are listening to the feminine side. And today is refreshing, it's different, it's salam. We're wishing you peace. We're wishing you joy in this season. Take care of yourself and um, be on the lookout as you are merry making others also out there looking out for areas to, you know, cause harm. We are still celebrating our sister, our mentor, our mother, our everything. Ohineiri, you've given us power. You've given us light. Um, Yes, some school of thoughts will go like, oh, as a Muslim woman, you don't need all that. Islam gave us liberation 1,400 or 1,500 years ago. Yes, it's true. It's very true. But in terms of our current age, who will give you the opportunity to talk? Who will listen to you? And as they were sharing their experiences, yes, I'm hosting, but I also share my experience as well. I've been watching you right from GHS time through SHS, and you shaped us. My, my, my quest to even start hosting a program, you, you gave birth to it without even knowing. 
And guess what? The one who actually trained me and said, okay, Rami, when you sit down, pose this way. Mm -hmm. Your first words should be this. This is how you was um, Selikem. Selikem. And yeah. Selikem is your baby. Yes. So, so, so you, see, you see the chain. chain. You see the yeah. value chain. Yeah. That, is, that is what they were describing. Yeah. Yeah. That there are so many people you are touching. You are not even yeah. doing it directly. Yeah. And look at the ripple effect. Through Selikem, there's me. There are going to be other yeah. people. Someone exactly. is watching me. Exactly. And saying that, yes, I want to be like her. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's from you. So don't give up. Don't get tired. But I want to ask my sisters. I know it's tiring and it can be lonely as well. It can be really, really lonely. But just as Rahi said, remember this and let, let it imprint in your mind and play it back. And if we're to write our history, we're to write a chapter, because today we are trying to write the Quran again, Ghana. And we are writing the history of the Islamic woman or the Muslim woman. If not a chapter, like a surah, there will be an ayah with a hearing gift in it. Because our success story, what we have achieved, we can't talk about it without mentioning you. It is, it is so true and it's so... There, there's no, what again apart from truth? We, because who, who, who uh, apart from the Ahmadiyya Muslim community that organizes conferences within the Jamaat, mm -hmm. when you take the entire Ummah, the entire Muslim community in the country who organize conferences, yes, Fomwa will do something, yeah. there, but the, on the national stage and the consistency. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's been nine years, right? Yes. Ten years. Th this year we did our tenth. Mm -hmm. The consistency. With it, with, with what, you, and, and at the end of the day, everybody comes in, the, everybody takes something away, everybody is inspired, everybody is fulfilled. When they try to pull her down. Exactly, you're still going, you don't get tired, and that, that is so refreshing. It's, it's, it's a spirit that we all, as she says, sometimes you just go onto social media, you go and read, and then not they buy, you read it, and, and it's as if you know, you, when you woke up to pray. The, the, the words that you wanted to hear to inspire you, to encourage you. That's what Allah has just put those words through the post that you made. And it fits. It's so aligned with whatever that you were thinking. And it can only be the work of God. God. And um, our relationship with you teaches me. And in fact, it's something that Rasulullah uh, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and even Anabi Isa taught all of us. That the religion of Allah is humanity. That Allah is after the heart and the soul. The story of the Good Samaritan. The Jews met the man and left. But the Samaritan saw a human being and decided to help. And after he helped, did he become a, 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 a Jew? No. He continued being who he is with his beliefs. But he loved humanity. So he got a page or a chapter in the Bible. So what you do, so me saying that if we were to write the Quran, it's not blasphemous apologies, if it doesn't appeal to certain uh, sensibility with all due respect. What I'm saying that if we are writing our history as Muslim women today, just as the Samaritan, even though he wasn't a Jew, has found a page, an ayah, a chapter in the Bible, or in any Christianity, you'll be in there. May Allah richly bless you. May you continue to adore you with everything. His countenance, his peace, his tranquility, his, his salam. Let me say it in its proper way. The, the peace in English sort of brings it down. The salam, it's, it's, it's innate. It's heavier. Yes. It's, it's it, we, we, something, a deeper, a deeper meaning. meaning that no matter what, you keep going. Because we are, we are there. And there are so many of us also out there coming, watching, and learning. May Allah wish you bless you. So, one thing that keeps bringing in my... You know, she, like, on, she sends WhatsApp messages mm -hmm. when she needs it. Sometimes I'm like, okay, maybe her PA is communicating. <laughs> then the last message, Hadja Charlie, tell her she's doing so. I was like, ah, did you really just call me Hadja and added Charlie to it? 
So is that it, it, it's there is no like there's there's no gap. Yes. You know, as to like I'm up here, yeah. you are down okay. there. Like I'm even older than you. It doesn't change. Yeah. Her. So a couple of days, I'm like, ah, did she really call me Charlie? <laughs> like. <laughs> So oh. that you are confirmed like, nah, it's her. Okay. She's the one okay. sending you messages. Oh, I don't have the one here, she. Rice. <laughs> she asked you to buy rice. You forgot it. And what's we'll it on the floor? Yes. And eat it. Mm. Human beings resemble nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Nippon <laughs> says she. <laughs> so we really, we really thank you. We, we, mm. we appreciate you. We are grateful. Even if many are out there with that warped mentality yeah. and... It does not cross my. Even if I'm really cool with you and you, you want to bring that, your I respectfully be like, yo, uh, uh, don't come for me if I don't send for you. Like, because tell me which platform has women seated like this? Yeah. Mm. I'll wait. Yeah, there's none. none. So from the standpoint. Exactly. Well, I, 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 the one they only. Yeah, the one. The, um, emphasis. Mm. <laughs> the Magadia herself. The Magadia herself. <laughs> so if I've been given an opportunity, and where, like, well, I always say where I, I'm coming from because I left here, I was barely 17. Mm. I left Ghana. Mm. So a lot of my growing up to mature wasn't in Ghana. So a lot of things I do not do the traditional no way. way. So yeah. I'm seeing as mm. a troublemaker. But no, sorry, that's what well, it talks about. I think the moment when the Prophet Muhammad, the peace be upon his name, you know, had interactions with the church. Yes. yes. Yeah, that, that's a story where they went to even hide in a, a church. In a Addis Ababa. Yeah. So, I've seen it. at what mm. point did we have to decide to become, mm -hmm. break and become mm -hmm. enemies or whatever? And we have an example in our time here. We see the chief imam going to church. We exactly. see some pastors also going mm, to, the of course, the Orthodox, you know, mm. going to the mosque to go and see. Mm. Why can't we emulate that? I always tell people that sometimes you don't even have to like somebody. Mm. If the person has something that you can learn mm -hmm. from, oh. that will benefit you. Because as we were going to China to learn, China, they are not Muslims. Yeah. Keep your faith. Give mine. Let's just be human. Let's just be human. Um, humanity is the religion of Allah, yes. of God, of the creator of the universe. We've had a wonderful conversation, Auntie. Can I hear you give the auntie? I have to bring the auntie first. Auntie mommy. Auntie, auntie sister Penny. <laughs> We've had a wonderful conversation. We've learned a lot. It's been revealing. At a point, I almost teared up. Yeah. Uh, it's been exciting. Uh, we've, we've had laughter. We've had joy. Uh, the bond has actually um, increased. We are about to wrap up. Someone has something to say. You asked um, what we are doing with oh, what yes. she gave us. For me, I decided to um, bring my Muslim sisters together. That was why I created Muslim Women Entrepreneurs and Leaders. Mm. So under this, we are looking at, um, I go for pitches a lot. I go for competitions for my branch. Mm. But each time I step foot on that kind of gathering, I don't see my sisters around me. I don't see them. And then you ask, and it's like, they either don't understand what they are building. They won't even, um, they don't have information about these competitions. Mm. If they have the, uh, the information, they don't have enough knowledge to prepare themselves to be able to assess these grants. Mm -hmm. And someone who has built um, a brand from scratch, from my own experience, I felt, okay, this is my own way of supporting them. She has encouraged me. She has inspired me. What can I also do? Mm. It's like a baton handed over to you. You can only pass it on. So this um, umbrella was just to share the few information and knowledge I've also gathered throughout my entrepreneurial journey mm. to get them on board. And alhamdulillah, I can say that most of them are doing so well. Mm. Most of them have been able to rebrand their products, mm. to even change packaging, to even um, add value to the things they were doing. Okay. 
Some didn't have um, social media handles, now they are on and they are even boosting and they are making money for themselves. Some used not to attend exhibitions, now they have information about all exhibitions that they can easily access. And also, some are on competitions that they win grants and they also go for boot camps and they are building their brand. Wow. That is what I am doing, just because she inspired me. <laughs> yes. So you've given me so much, mommy, Hallelujah. and I'm grateful. May all my Tala bless you Amen. and bless your generations. Amen. We are humbled and we are grateful for the opportunities you have granted Amen. us. Amen. Okay, we learned from this and what we are using is, I have learned to be confident, humility, mm -hmm. humble, wherever you find yourself, whoever you meet, wherever you are, just be humble. And with this, I'm also planning to get a foundation for myself. That is help the needy, yeah. help the young. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to launch it on my birthday. That will be on April, inshallah, Thank next you. year. Yeah, so God willing. I also have a foundation because I've learned from her that no matter the circumstances, there is someone there who is crying to eat. Mm -hmm. If you have eaten and some is left, please try and give it to someone. Yeah. And that's the humility. Mm -hmm. I've also learned to be confident. Just stand for yourself. Oh. Whatever the circumstances, don't think of the negative ones. Focus on what you want, and you will achieve it. Yes. And with this, I'm saying thank you again to her. And then we pray to meet more of this. And I also pray to have another chance again to meet her. <laughs> to be on the stage, inshallah. We've had an incredible time. Yeah. I've, 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 I've really enjoyed myself. It's been so revealing. Yeah. <laughs> it's been so revealing. And hey, hmm, anyway, to sit here in your seat and do this, what am I going to do with this? I'm just going to be more focused, more dedicated. More you see? Consistency. 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 Yeah. You know, sometimes when you say something growing up, it's, it's as if it's just a wish. Mm. Yeah. But it's not. Um, <laughs> I, I, I started this journey of like hosting on a specific day, which was the 18th of January. I remember it very well because that was the day that Kamala Dumo passed on me. Allah be merciful towards him and granting him Al Jana. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I've wanted to do this since my childhood. I want to be. A, I wanted to be a journalist. A accounting just met me on the way. My dad inspired me to be there. Then, when I entered the space, who am I looking up to? A female person. Like I want to be there. I want to. I want to be able to walk in her shoes. And here I am. Thank you. God bless you. It's been an emotional. Um, episode not because we are sad but because we are truly humbled mm -hmm. and uh, grateful uh, for the personality yep. that we are dealing with mm -hmm. uh, we continue to wash her well we continue to pray for many many more oh, of the 25 yeah. years yeah. many more of the of the 14 years many more of the 10 years of the muslim women conference mm -hmm. what are you going to do with that power what are you doing with the voice that you now have yes the stereotypes are there they are also going to call you Muslims. Is it your father that is the Muslim? Why are you an Ashanti and you are a Muslim? Why are you not doing that? Now, the truth is out there. It's only the person that doesn't want to hear who refuses to hear. But don't let it bug you. What are you doing with it? You have no excuse. You need to be out there. Get out, get up, make it. And hand the baton over. It's been an exciting episode. We've enjoyed ourselves. This has been the standpoint. We are listening to the feminine side. We are listening to the Muslim sisters celebrating our sister, our mother, our mentor, our friend. <laughs> our Charlie. Our Charlie. <laughs> The everyone is what? Please apply. So that I say it in
We wish you the blessings of the season, Baraka the Christmas. <laughs> we wish you the happiness and the joy. And please let's remember the reason for the season is giving and being helpful towards other one another. And Nabi Isa alayhi salatu wa salam taught us about the principle of the Good Samaritan. Don't don't look at the the, the tribe, don't look at the religion, the yeah. creed is humanity. That's and the religion of Allah. being Jesus. Yeah. Jesus, mm -hmm. son of Mary, mm -hmm. as he's affectionately mm -hmm. described, has always been for the humanity. And he is also a feminist. Yes, that's how come we did not slay the prostitute. Mm. He said, mm -hmm. if you, you don't have anything, throw the throw stone. The Preach! Throw. And Sister. nobody. No one. Someone shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> the, spirit, the spirit of the season is the reason why we are all here. And it's Christ. We are all happy to be here. And though we are Muslim, we wish you a happy and a successful period. Mm. Mashallah. Asalaamu Alaikum. This reason for the season, I'm sure you've heard this over and over again. But... You must also have your reason for the season. Everybody who knows me knows that I've never done the norm. I've never followed the status quo. Yes, sometimes peer pressure will push you in there. But I've always believed in doing things differently. And in my way of doing things differently and uniquely, I try not to lose the humanity. It doesn't matter what you've done to me. It doesn't matter how much you've hurt me or betrayed me. When I have to be human towards you, I will. When I see the need to be humane towards you, I will. We are all the same. At the end of the day, what? We all have blood running through us. Our challenges are the same. Quite recently, I made a post, and I hope to God I stand by it. I want to be that woman that another woman can trust. I want to be that woman that another woman can rely on, knowing that I've got her back. It's not easy. I'm only by human, but I want to try. I want to try. It's been a tough year. It's been a challenging year. But it's just by the grace of God that we are here. If we can learn something from the year 2022, it should be that we are all, all fallible. We are all vulnerable. We are all human. And anything and everything can happen to us. The year has almost ended. What's it going to be? 2023, our theme, our motto, our, our, our aim is to raise women of power and of influence. And don't be scared. If you understand power, you know that it's nothing negative. If you understand influence, you know that it's nothing negative. And don't worry. As the weeks pass by, next week we'll have a show and you understand what we mean by this thing. Thanks for watching. I remain the woman with super crazy faith in God, broken, battered, but by the grace of God, he kept me looking beautiful. Not outside, but beautiful in my life, in impact, in everything that I did. Yes, some who hear my story and wonder, really? And you were still... It's just by the grace of God that is there to be human. Merry Christmas. And may God give us the year 2023. Love you all. Thank you all. And God bless you. Mwah.